But I just want to know quickly um, your thoughts on Ricochet being in the top five. Just curious. I just love yeah. like moves that where you spin around a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter who's spinning, whether it's you or your opponent. Yeah. Just looks good. What's up, maniacs? Today we are going to be discussing a top five. You guys have been asking for lists, so we're going to be talking about top five best WWE finishers. We have got a panel panel of experts a panel of opinionated men that are coming to let us know what are the best finishes so as you can see next to me we have got from 1124 podcast tool pool in the building the attitude era connoisseur you all right sir yeah i'm good how you doing good good, good. we have got cameron who scored on wrestling's whose song is it challenge a whopping 20 so basically for those that don't know you get two minutes to um, guess as many wrestling theme tunes as you can. Cameron scored 20. Right now, the high score is 28. So I'm going to link it down below. You can check out Cameron's. Um, Cameron, how you doing? All good. Soon to be the next. Who song is it? Champion, man. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so enough to keep that title warm for now. All right. Go on, let's go. Let's go. And we have Mr. Mark Kingston. He's a comedian. Right. And again, another WWE lifer here to give us his opinions. How you doing? Good, man. Good. Good. Thanks so, for having me. Not a problem. So we are going to get into writing it. I'm going to let all the guys have a minute now. You guys can start listing who your what your top five WWE um, finishers are. So no submissions. We're not having no submissions in the list. You guys can list them from one to five. And then we'll go around and we're going to um, discuss what are the best finishers from that list. And we're going to make one general list. So that is what I'm here to do. I'm here to cause a bit of trouble i'm here to play devil's advocate while these guys are gonna argue their case that they have the best list while they, they are doing that guys if you are enjoying this video um because i'm sure you're gonna enjoy it make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here we've got loads of new content new programming coming so subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell all that good stuff and we're going to get into this. this. This looks like an exam. <laughs> 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 Paul's got a phone now. Is that a cheat code, bro? No, I, just, I wrote a list, so... I wrote a list, so I'm just, I'm just picking. You know what? There's so many to choose from. Yeah. That's the no, problem. there is. There There's, is. This could change at any... Oh, gosh. There is. Okay, I'm seeing... Oh, man. Mm. I'm seeing a few similarities <laughs> in, in, some, in some lists. Guys, put down below in the comments while we're waiting. Put down below in the comments. What are your top five WWE finishers? I'm sure we're going to see some of them on this list. The, the question is, whose decisions make the final, final list? This is, this is not easy. I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy. He's I'm just written right. his own <laughs> list under, no, under <laughs> duress. No one's forced you to write I'm this. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. No one's forced you, you know? Cool. I think I've got my five. All right. It so, all right, could change completely by the end of it. <laughs> Let, let's start with Mark then. Let's start with Mark. So if you just okay. want to turn it around, yeah, let's see what you've got. Okay. So um, going from number five, you're going to have to, I, I can't read that. That's the 690, Ricochet's finisher. Okay. Okay. Is that the 690? Is it? Six. It's it's definitely a number, but yeah, I don't yeah. think it's 690. Is it not? I nah. thought it was a 690 or 680, something six, like that. 80 oh this is bad i, I don't I can't remember you know what i, I know mean, what you're though. talking yeah, about 100 yeah, 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 yeah. there we go cool then um, we've got uh the sit out power bomb number four who's who's whose power bomb is that i get batista's batista bomb okay. and then obviously cruiserweight classic kota abushi, kota abushi, abushi of course uh, yeah. and then number three the claymore for okay the moment, very current yeah uh then number two the stunner and number one the rko rko Right, 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 yeah. All right, Cameron, let's go with you. I was torn. I wanted to. Um, it will do for now. It will do, yeah. <laughs> it <might> do <laughs> yeah. for now. Yeah. So, so number five. Number five, we've got the pedigree. Yep. Only reason why I put pedigree there because a lot of times that's the one, two, three. It's efficient. It's hard. You can't, you can't efficient. argue with success rate. Yeah. So efficient. Like as well, current current move. I've got number four as Claymore because oh. I just like. Moves just like, move that out of nowhere, just go get you hit out of anyone. Just yeah, go, yep. done. Of course, you've got to go number three with the RKO because, again, another move, you just hit out of nowhere, literally. Never yeah. Intended. Yep. Number two, classic Undertaker, Tombstone. Again, 
efficient. Hardly anyone kicks out of that. Mm-hmm. That's the one, two, three. And I've gone with number one with Shawn Michaels' super kick. Cool. Okay, I just, I just like finishes that I can, you can hit out of nowhere, really. Yeah, yeah. You, you've got a few of them there yeah. still. <laughs> <laughs> That's, just That's quite cool. Cool. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. All right, last but not least, Paul, right. hit us with your list. So I've gone number five. I've gone F5. Cool. Um, yeah, one of those finishes you don't, you hardly kick out of. Yeah. Um, looks as mean as it uh, as it hits. Pedigree again, yeah. Efficiency rate, yeah. just solid move. RKO, you can't beat out of nowhere. Move It's just yeah. you know same again. I've gone number two. Switching music, that's yeah. just and then stunner. A bit of bias there. I'm not gonna be. I won't lie. Stone Cold's his <laughs> favorite. A bit of, a bit of okay, bias, cool. but yeah, another another great finisher. I, um, I love it. Yeah, I'll do it when I was younger. Every day. So, yeah. Yeah, you I don't read that. the sign that says, don't try this up. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. <laughs> cool. So we've got our lists. Now, I'm seeing the Claymore's appeared twice, but I want to I wanna say something about the Claymore. Okay. I it. like the move personally. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's like it's like a, just a flying kick, uh, big boot sort of. I don't mean to discredit it, by the way. Um, oh, you know, that's, that's what it was. Mm. Because he, um, I, I saw one of, I think it was on the 24th special, Drew. Mm. He said he did it on an accident. It was meant to be a big boot, but he flew like he... He left his feet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so that, that's... Oh, yeah. fair, this looks like enough. a big beefy guy doing a drop kick not <laughs> With correctly one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what it looks like yeah. Yeah, that's true but um, for me I don't know is that recency bias why it's on the, on the list is that because obviously Drew is the in thing right now I would just you think put that on the list when he was having his first run it looks like it would hurt that's I my mean, one that's thing true. like <laughs> if finisher yeah. has to look like it hurts like yeah. Ray Mysterio 619 mm. I think I could take that yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know what i mean yeah. like i agree i think i could take 619s all day yeah but yeah. i think if yeah. drew gave me a claim more that's me gone it's mm-hmm. gone yeah yeah, yeah. That's it. yeah. so th- i think and like you said you can just hit it out of nowhere there's no limitations like whether you're big or small you're gonna get hit with it doesn't matter yeah, yeah. Mm. that's, that's true. true but i hear what you're saying because if i'm gonna put if i'm gonna be honest if i if i put in claim there then i think i have to put the bro kick streams as well because they're quite Similar the similarity yeah. that, that, that is true yeah. that is true yeah. I, I probably do prefer, prefer the Claymore just because of the athleticism mm. involved in it yeah. um, Clay um, what's it the um, bro kick's nothing but a glorified big boot but <laughs> I tell you, what, you know that honest. you know that running kick Roman Reigns used to do when he ran around and jumped up on the, the apron drive that's basically a Claymore yeah. on yeah. the apron right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. true that is true yeah yeah, um, that, yeah. Yeah, I just thought maybe it's because he's the in thing right now. Maybe that's why he appeared on I the mean, list. I mean, we have to be kind of patriotic UK. <laughs> yeah, <Scottish laughs> yeah, champion. That's true. He's our guy. True, yeah. yeah, go Drew. That's <laughs> true. That's so true. <laughs> that's true. Another one that's appearing on people's list, um, Pedigree. That's appeared on two out of three lists. Mm. I think Pedigree makes my personal list if I was doing this. Mm. Okay. Um, again, like you guys mentioned, um, the success rate. Like, Tell me about, obviously, talk to me about Pedigree. I don't Pedigree doesn't look like a lot of finishes. Like it's quite individualistic in the way that it's performed and again it looks like it hurts. Yeah. It just and it just looks like a finisher. It yeah, it gives me it. finisher like if he hits that, then yeah, nine times out of ten that's it, yeah. it that's it. And that's what I look for in most finishers, other than the kind of out of nowhere ones which are kind of like uh attention grabbing, like it's yeah, just yeah, hitting, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? But that's yeah, I, I love a finisher that looks like a finisher. Like Triple H is my favorite wrestler of all time, right? Mm, so yeah. every, when I got into it, he was my favorite, and I loved the pedigree then. Mm. But it just got reversed so much. All you have to do mm. to reverse is just sit up. Yes. Yeah, but I, I guess, guess that, that's, yeah. like, that's why H it's not was a, the game. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is like what it would if it would probably be in my top ten, not top five, mm. because it got countered so much. Yeah. But uh, in terms of like, yeah, it looks painful. I give yeah, him that. There's no way like. I feel like he's like in recent years he kind of softened up like he would let you go. Yeah. But beforehand there were moves where he was just he was still holding. Hold it. Yeah. Yeah. And when you see the arms yeah. just yeah. go. It's, it's like, just still like, got it locked in while your face is hitting the ground yeah. and then just uses that to roll yeah. you over for the pin. It's, yeah, it looked like, you know, even if it's like obviously a professional wrestler, like taking the move looks like, all right, face plant, literally like. There's just some moves you just got to take. Like, yeah. Because obviously it. the most infamous one is probably is like the pedigree on Mick Foley at Royal Rumble. On yeah. The, on Thumbtacks. Yeah. Yeah. That man. one. Just, I don't know why. <laughs> you just have to swallow that. You just have to <laughs> literally. You see like the Thumbtacks like, on his in, eyebrow. In his eyebrow. Like, like the best eye. Mick Foley yeah. could have ever done in that situation is just try to turn his head. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Like that. Yeah. Rather than like exactly. face yeah. on. But yeah. like, 
Yeah, there's no easy way to take that. To take it, no, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Guys, be honest with me. Has anyone ever tried to pedigree their sibling? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, yes, <laughs> but on a bouncy castle. So I was a bit. I was. Uh, I was you're, playing you're a nice guy. Yeah, playing it safe. <laughs> just played it safe. Kevin, you definitely have. Maybe. Maybe. Jesus. <laughs> Savage is in the room. My what brother's you? bigger than me. Kick the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Um. Again, another one is um. Stana has appeared on a couple of lists. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's just. Like it's just the stunning. best, like yeah. well, second best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, how can you not love a Stone Cold Stunner? Yeah. It's like the '90s, like in one wrestler move. It, it's, it is true. I have one hot take about the Stunner, though. Be for me, <laughs> for me, I don't think on my personal list, if I was to do one, it couldn't be any higher than second, just because the Stunner is very dependent on who's taking it. For mm-hmm. how good it yeah. looks, and mm-hmm. like, if, the, if rock, the Rock's taking yeah. it, if, if, yeah. if the Rock is the only person to ever yeah. take the stunner, it's yeah. all number one yeah. every day, all yeah. day. Yeah. 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 If That's Donald true. Trump's taking it, it's yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So like Vince McMahon, for the amount of stunners he's taken in his career, he never really learned how to sell it well. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I see what you mean. And I, I think that. That's, that's the only true. issue with the stunner for me. Yeah, I get. Yeah, I get. I get. That's that. And generally, if we do the stunner to each other, it's not that hard of a move. Like, let's be honest. It's not hard. Yeah. But again. It's one that nobody really kicked out of. Yeah. When Stone Cold was in his prime, nobody mm. really kicked out of it unless it was like the Rocket Mania. Yeah. 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 That's it. T- talking about the Rock, it's interesting to see no one has any Rock moves. <laughs> I, I was tempted just to put number five as people sober. I would have. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> you if, you, if you had said t- one to ten, I probably would have snapped people well, over one you, day. I heard that it was just a joke to try and get The Undertaker to laugh. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's how it started. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, it's... A, so, uh, it's it's a shocking. <laughs> it's a no, shocking. It's, 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 it's not about the elbow. It's about everything that goes into it's it. It's the gimmick around it's it. The well, gimmick. that's the rock. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, if, I reckon if you look at the rock, like talented guy, obviously, mm. but in terms of technical wrestlers, he's nowhere near the top. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. the moves that he does. I'd say his spine buster is probably the best. He's pretty yeah, good yeah, yeah, move yeah, out yeah, of everything. Definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the people's yeah. el- that's like the worm people's <laughs> elbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah literally, it is that. It is that. Yeah. I think yeah. I think um, rock bottom. Same with um, Stone Cold. For me, as a child, were really entertaining moves to watch. Just mm. because of, and remember back in the day, as soon as you're gonna hit a finish, like, all the lights, the cameras yeah. would flash, and everything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. That helped sell it. But again, with with Austin, um, I just don't. F- if it's not the Rock, mm. I just don't know how well it will come out. Sort of thing. Despite you still being gassed off the stunner, yeah. the Rock is the only or the main guy that made that stunner yeah, look so great for me. Um, what else? I think there was one else that I think at least two people had on the list. We got RKO on our free list. Switch and music. RKO. Okay, so all right, let's start putting this list together. Let's start from number five. All right, you guys, you know, you you've kind of spoken about the same kind of um moves that are on each of your lists. Yeah, which one is is fifth? I do. Uh, you know what? I kind of overlooked um Claymore. I think Claymore should go five. I think, right? I think Claymore is a good really? five, to be honest. I think so. Because I, I, when I'm thinking about it, I was like, you know, it just didn't come to mind. Um, I think I kind of had some kind of personal favourites in there and I was just maybe a little bit um, closed, which I really should. It doesn't really make sense, to be honest. But I think I think it's, a, in terms of just what we've spoken about now, I think Claymore at number five. I, I like the Claymore. I'm just not sure if it would make my top five. I mean, this isn't about me, but I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to... You know, um, like F five might go above Claymore for me. I mean, again, maybe I'm being a bit too diplomatic because I love an F five. I think it's one of those moves again that looks like. I remember the first time I saw it when he did it on Maven when he came in, and I was just like, "What is that?" Yeah, yeah. And I'd always Absolute try to be magic. thoughtful about different moves or different types of holds into finishers that they haven't tried, and yeah. seeing that, I was like, because there used to be um, what's it TKO? I think um. Uh, what's his name? Oh, I was Mark something or something, but he used to do it into kind Jin, of like Jin a, Drak? Oh, yeah, Jin, Jin, yeah, Jin he Drak, do it into yeah, a kind yeah. of like modified sort of RKO mm. kind of thing. But that was CNF five. It just that looked like it hurt, and I tried it many. I times. mean, he was thrown <laughs> around. You've got like Brock Lesnar thrown around like the Hardys with it and stuff. Yeah, it looks a bit rubbish when he's thrown around Big Show, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, yeah. You just sort of like yeah, guy. It's slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a lot slower. Yeah, that is on. Okay, yeah. it's impressive. I mean, does 
it's like impressive pick him to pick him up. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. yeah, it just doesn't look as great. No, no right. yeah, that's true. Okay, so we're gonna go with Claymore at number five. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. Right. We can we can still move it around. Yeah, yeah. It's in the top five. So. Mm. Fair enough. Number four. What are we saying? What, pedigree mm. or you want it further up nah. or not I narrative? think for me because I put it four I think it, it sits perfectly for yeah, me it's personally yeah. it's not on my list but like because mm. then I had it fifth and yeah then I'll put it fourth yeah there's no denying it's a top move yeah. why didn't it make your list then I think I just got bored with it by the end fair enough like I loved it at the start <laughs> and then mm. I just started getting like some wrestlers have like a couple of finishes where Triple H, that's the only thing he has. <laughs> yeah, <it's> true. <laughs> right? <laughs> Which could go true. either way. Like Stone Cold only had that really. Stunner, but yeah. there was something about Triple H and the pedigree that just bored me after a while. Mm. Um, but in terms of like legacy, mm-hmm. there's no denying it's one of the top finishes. Yeah. yeah um, so although it didn't make my list, this is more of like, a, not a current list, but my current faves at the moment, I suppose. Yeah, but, um, yeah. yeah, pedigree... I think it's fair. All right, let's put yeah, Pedigree in there. Yeah. Well, I just want to know quickly um, your thoughts on Ricochet being on top five. Just curious. I just love, yeah. like, moves that where you spin around a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter who's spinning, whether it's you or your opponent. Yeah. It just looks good. Like, you've got, like, the F5 when the opponent's spinning. Yeah. It looks good. You've mm. got, like, the Swanton Bomb, the shooting star press. The yeah, Swanton the Bomb should have been... If any high fly move no. was going to be on the list, it probably should have been Swanton Bomb. You know what? The only thing about Swanton Bomb, I love the move. But then when I looked at it and I kind of felt about all the other moves, I was like, it's it's a, it's a glorified flip. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I love it. I and you. I love it. But I, I was just like... I hate you. And I was like, I, but I couldn't pull it in. Again, if you said top 10... There's a lot more moves I could have maybe had a bit of variety, but I had mm. to be ruthless. Yeah, we we got to be ruthless. Here. Be Top ruthless. ten is too much. Yeah, but I do. I, I got to put on. I do love Swanton Bomb. I do love it. But oh, you're right. It does yeah. just look like a flip. Yeah, oh, I could do it in a swimming pool tomorrow. This is it. Oh, you know, that's oh, what you did practice. God, you you went up. You got on the edge. You did a flip. You called it the Swanton. You know what I mean? I, I enjoyed it back I'm, in the I'm day. I'm not having this Jeff Hardy slander. No, I'm not even <laughs> slander because he got, in my opinion, he got very sloppy with it. Mm. So before he used to actually look very swan-like in the air. But yeah. that's, that's age. That's yeah. right. that, abandonment. Yeah, like, no, I get that. I get that. But, uh, you know, I, I just liked the way it looked before. And it just, you know, it just got, it got very messy. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, Jeff. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, then number three. What's going to make the list number three? I think we're getting into the, the area where everyone's list is becoming very similar now. Yeah, so. Thankfully, because I, I don't think I would give up any of my three. I would not, the, the, not the, the, the question now is the order. The mm. order it comes out in. Okay, so, I mean... I think it's got... I, have a, I would definitely say Tombstone's got to be top three. Does I anyone know. else think Tombstone's you know, not in your top three? I, I Tombstone got, not in your top three. my top five. <laughs> oh, yeah, well then. You know, okay, maybe I like Kane's Tombstone really? more than Undertaker's because I feel like it had more impact because he kind of left his feet where Undertaker was more like tippy toes oh, and yeah. guide you down. Yeah, right. And obviously it's still a massive, a great move, but I think, I, I guess we can kind of generalise and just say Tombstone's a Tombstone at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, it depends the person though. It does. It, it does. Because I, I remember when Kane came in and he did his Tombstone and it was just like, left his feet it was just like you're literally going to break someone's neck doing that but i loved it the reason why i can't <laughs> give undertaker his tombstone in the top five it's not his best finisher his best finisher is the power bomb that he did the last right the last right thank you right. very 100%, much 100 like, percent. better than his tombstone yeah. better than his choke slam last ride would have been number six that's like when i saw power bomb on on your list that's yeah. what i was wondering last ride was amazing yeah, yeah. last ride <clears throat> the, the lifting of somebody above his head yeah. mm. and then crashing down yeah well, Kota Ibushi does it as well. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. He does his one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For someone mm. who's not like muscly, like yeah, he gets yeah, a yeah. lot higher. But he's very strong though. Yeah, Ibushi, yeah. yeah. Even even though it's not his finisher, but Keith Lee's spirit bomb. Yeah, uh, yeah. again, he, he lifts him above his head. If he yeah. his finisher, then that probably would have been on my list. I, I guess that's one of his two though. finishes, isn't it? Like yeah. that yeah, or signature the, um, move. Yeah, yeah. What's the other one he does? A spirit bomb and then the big bang catastrophe thing, like a power bomb, a power slam thing. Um, Cameron's saying that. Tombstone got to be there. <laughs> you guys aren't agreeing. Right? I, I, I think this is where this becomes good. I, I think because 
I can't get rid of these three. I just yeah. can't. I can't see Tombstone being better than the RKO or Sweet Chin Music or a Stunner. Or a Stunner. Here's a question for you. I haven't got Sweet Chin Music on my list, right? What mm. makes it so special? It's just a super kick. I, I like that. I have something to say about that as well. Like the Young Bucks throw 50 of them out in a match. You and said it. You What's know, so special I about Shawn Michaels? I really, I really hate that they do it as well. It's a transition yeah. move now. Dolph yeah. Ziggler just hits it. Yeah. Just, just to be, do it. Just like. because... I'm going by nostalgia. I'm not looking like currently how they use it now. Sure. Mm. So I'm just looking at how Sweet Chin Music was like, it was the move like during that time. Mm. I want Shawn Michaels hit it. That was pretty, pretty much like one, two, three. And yeah, like literally yeah. he can hit it on anyone. Cause like, especially like during the 90s when he was facing like Vader or Diesel. Mm. Yeah, you can, sure. can kick that, you can kick higher so that it will look. But we're going to yeah. pretend sometimes that Shawn Michaels didn't hit the Sweet Chin Music and then go to sleep with the person that-, that <laughs> No, but that was, no, don't do that. Because no, no, that was no, no. part of I'm the package. Saying, I'm just saying that sometimes was, he used to hit the Sweet Chin Music and yeah. just- that was, that was part well. of the package. It was like desperation. I'm not, I'm not doubting that. And that's what made it look even greater because, you know, what? Ma- oh, I don't even know what match it was, if there was one, but I'm sure there's loads of examples where he's getting beaten up bad and it's just like duck of the clothesline and then there's a sweet... And he's and he, he hits it perfect and then he's out. And it just... And the person's out as well. It's just... I'm totally with, like, the nostalgic element of it. Even when he, you know, gets to tune up the band and all that stuff... Mm-hmm. See, no. I don't think like, and this is kind of contradicting, uh, contradictory because I've got the claim already. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. why are you gonna tell people I'm about to hit my finisher? Mm. <laughs> but I guess, like, like, <laughs> hey man, just so you know, when you get up, I'm gonna hit my finisher on you. <laughs> like, why are you gonna tell her? Performance, performance, performance. Yeah. <laughs> I get that's a lot of finishes though. Even there though, is a few yeah. like Roman Reigns yeah. when he hits a spear. Yeah. You've got the claymore does it as well. People yeah. do that, mm. and I'm just like. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna sit lay there. Lay there, he's swinging his arms. Like the crowd is shaking, <laughs> shouting. Yeah. The one I love is when people go up top off the turnbuckle. You see someone sliding across the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Position to take it. <laughs> and then I like, suddenly, as they're landing, you're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Squeeze in. Like, yeah. Uh, um, I don't think you should be like signposting your finisher. That's another thing on the uh, sweet chin that's, music. That's a, that's a fair point. Yeah. I kind of felt like it was a stage after a while though, because I really enjoyed the RKO when it was just, he'd just do it. But then when he was doing, um, you know, the Viper and he was banging oh, and all that. Really and really I was yeah. just like, mm, no, I just want to see out of nowhere things. But yeah. you know what? That's, that's typical WWE adding performance to everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like the minute you knew um, The Rock was going to do the three punches, you knew the spit punch was coming mm, afterwards, yeah. you knew the spine buster was coming, you knew yeah. the people's elbow was coming. Like yeah. it's it's like theat- theatric. Yeah, they want you to yeah, know yeah. what mm. follows sort of yeah. thing to get you gassed. And yeah. I think after when the RKO became popular, it's then, yeah, we need to add something to it to yeah. um, gloss it up. Um, sweet chin music all of a sudden sounds like it shouldn't make this list. We're still debating what's going to be number three. <sighs> Uh, Come on, lads. Let's 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 okay. make some decisions. All right. So if if not, although I can't see how, but if not, switching music, then then what? All right. Wait. Cameron said Tombstone should make be number three. Mm. No one's agreeing. Then yeah. Tombstone's out. Then. So I've, to, I've lost it, two to one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So is Tombstone not making this final list? Then yeah, no, no, I don't think so. No. I think I personally would put switching music number three. That's my opinion. I can, I can, I, I, I can bear, I can bear that. Yeah, I can bear that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, got some movement there. Number two. What are we saying? So that's this so you, you this haven't got the stunner one. on your list. Yeah. Yeah, because um, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> it's getting hard. Okay. <laughs> I agree with what you're saying about the people who sell it, and mm. also as well, like the whole like move of the stunner. I didn't really get it in terms of like the effectiveness of it. Yeah, because like a lot of times it, it looks sloppy in terms of. Uh, but I think he, this is who's taking you, it. Yeah, because mm. the way like he would kick you in the in the midsection, he barely kicks you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just like grazes you and be like, oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I yeah. think at, at the same would time, you say that to Steve Austin's <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> would, you, would you give me a stunner after that? I think he yeah, would. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you can't discount the legacy of the move though. We we um, know yeah. like visually it doesn't look like the hardest move to take, yeah. but we yeah. can't discount the legacy of it. Don't get me wrong, it is one of those moves where it's like like you said, when when he hits a stun on that's that's it, like one, mm. two, three kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. 
But if it's in the top five, I'm not gonna like disagree with it. But it's just not my one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm. Fair enough. So we got two positions. It looks like the general consensus is around um Stunner, RKO. I yeah. Think, I think Stunner number two. I think Stunner's gonna have to go number two because we all have the RKO. Mm. Um and I'm not mad at the RKO being number one. Does it deserve to be number one though? It's not, it's not, don't concede. On, on, I'm not, I won't even say concede. On legacy alone, I feel like I put Stone Cold Stone number one for a reason. I mean, I totally, and it's a good point with the whole selling thing because there's some people that drop to the knees when they take it. Some people just kind of bend down and that can then affect how effective it looks and yeah. the move as well. You kind of, like I've taken one before, so I've kind of just like... <laughs> <laughs> From Austin, yeah? <laughs> no, unfortunately, unfortunately not. But um, yeah, so it's like, it's not actually as effective, but it looks it looks the part, even if like maybe in real life, it's not actually doing anything. Um, and the legacy of the move, you know, it's definitely getting the one, two, three, you just come out, stun as somebody, everyone wants to see it. So yeah, I, I think that should be number one. So why are you about to concede? No, only because, only because I was thinking, you know, for harmony... <laughs> <laughs> that, and everyone has RKO and RKO is an amazing finisher um, I just want to say also that um, <clears throat> Kevin O should stop doing the, the stunner no I'm no, 100% sure yeah. oh my and God. some finishers yeah. that only one wrestler can do this and is yeah, be yeah, left, yeah. left. Yeah. This is it. it was the same with like when Seth Rollins was doing the pedigree yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I, know, I know at the time like they had this like this ban on the curb stomp but yeah, yeah. No, yeah just leave it to the guy that made it popular because the move yeah. is so popular it's like yeah. their move yeah. sort of thing yeah, yeah for sure it's like and the angle slam like nobody's going to be able to do it as yeah. effective as Kurt Angle yeah so yeah I saw Shelton try. Benjamin done it yeah, the other day like, and he was just like yeah <laughs> like he was just like Come but that, but that kind of make sense it, it does yeah, make sense because yeah. Shelton Benjamin was under the learning tree of yeah. Kurt Angle but it's like leave it alone please yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so stunner number two <laughs> Paul's, not, Paul's not happy but he's not fighting it I'm not happy but I've lost 2 to 1 anyway I've lost 2 to 1 but I would put it number 1 but again I can like if it was saying I don't know Tombstone number 1 then I would fight but, first, <laughs> but RKO I love RKO so I'll be happy to say RKO can go number 1 and RKO number 1 for everyone yeah, yeah. sure I think on the list I would have put together, RKO would have sat number one as well. Um, pedigree would have definitely been made the list, probably within that four or five position. Stunner, like I said, I wouldn't put it any higher than second. So I think that's about fair. Apart from maybe Claymore, I don't think Claymore would have made my list. Yeah, you're hating on the Claymore. Not, I'm not even hating on it. I just think it's it's not something that would have come to my head. Like I think it's too soon for you to... Yeah, I yeah, think it's yeah, too yeah, soon yeah. for me personally. Mm, yeah. Um, mm. But then... I think I think instead of Claymore, I would have had Last Ride. Okay, that's yeah. fair. I yeah, could that's fair. That. I, could, I could do that. I could do that. I guess that, that fifth position of who kind of sneaks into the top five is always going to be a bit debatable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. But, yeah. There's so many finishes that we good, haven't yeah. even talked about. Exactly, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you guys think of um, Hogan's leg drop? <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry. I, I'm a sucker for those moves, man. Um, like what, the, the, whole, performance? The, the performance of it, the build up. It's like you feel like he's that gathering the energy whack. from the fans into his leg. Into his leg. I don't know. There's a reason why he's had about 50 hip replacements. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That can't be good for your back. At all. Yeah. Nah. F five is a good shout as well. Mm -hmm. That could have been in and around. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um the sit down power bomb, Batista bomb mm. as well. That could have been. No one done um attitude adjustment, F you. Oh please. No? no. It's glorified fireman's carry. <laughs> no way. No. I was torn like with the spear. The spear's a good one. Yes, I do think, again, that's who's doing it. Do who who would have been your spear? The thing is, though, if I was going to say spear, it'd be Goldberg, but I, that's more referring to WCW. WCW. That's why, I, that's why I wasn't on my list, because yeah, yeah, yeah. WWE. Yeah. Yeah. I like rhinos a lot. Yeah. Gore, gore, yeah, gore. I like rhinos. <laughs> rhinos one looked like it really hurt. That was proper. Yeah, yeah that sure. was proper. Yeah, it has to be know. Paul Heyman on commentary doing this that. 100%. 100%. <laughs> Yeah, that one's I remember the time out. he got Jericho through the SmackDown yeah, yeah, time the time trial on the stage yeah, 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 or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that was. Yeah, even when he, when he got the Rock, when he watches flips, yeah, yeah he's he's flipping back, 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 back. The Rock sells it. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> that is Rock's strongest point. Oh, Mike yeah. skills and selling, selling, hundred percent, man. Yeah, cool. All right then. So, hope everyone can see this at home. This is the final list. 
fifth, Claymore came in. Number four, The Pedigree. Number three, Sweet Chin Music. Number two, Stone Cold Stunner. And number one, RKO. We're happy with this final list, guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah? Yeah. Some good work there. I think it, some are obvious. It is a question of positioning. Mm. But... um. It looked like number three was going to be a real sticking point. I thought we were going to be here, <laughs> we were going to be here all night. But um, yeah, we got around it. So yeah, I appreciate you guys coming in. Paul, Mark, Cameron, thanks for joining us today. Guys, let us know down below in the comments what your favourite finishes are and order them. Put them in order of best to worst. Let's see how um, well they compare with what the guys put together here. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Loads more videos coming different panels and get in touch as well if you're about you want to be on the panel um let's hash this out wrestlemaniac uk signing out and i'll see you soon